How do you live in the moment? Stop acting as if life is a rehearsal. Live this day as if it were your last. The past is over and gone. The future is not guaranteed. When you cherish every moment of your life, not only the energy flowing through you, but also all forms of life around you, you will realize how precious being alive is. You will realize that you need very little to live an abundant life. You will realize that wealth is an inside job. You'll become more appreciative. You'll become more grateful. You'll become more and more prepared to live your dream. What can you do to live in the moment? Firstly, make sure you do everything in your life consciously. Being alive doesn't necessarily mean that you're living consciously. It's so easy to do your daily routine without paying attention to it. When you brush your teeth, are you thinking about that meeting at work? Or is your attention on every tooth that needs your attention and care? When you're making your favorite cup of coffee, are you thinking about the groceries you need to buy? Or are you taking in the stimulating aroma of your day starter and being thankful for it? Do you consciously listen to the birds chirping? Or do you dismiss it as noise? When you cook a meal, do you observe how healthy and beautiful the tomatoes look as you slice them? Or are you thinking about that meal at the restaurant that you'd rather have? All of us, all of us are guilty of doing some things on autopilot mode. Some are guilty of living their life on autopilot mode. It's important to dream and plan for your future. At the same time, you've got to prioritize every moment, every breath you take. The sooner you understand that the next moment and the next breath, it's not guaranteed, the better you'll appreciate being present. When you wake up every morning, be conscious of the fact that you are alive. Be grateful that you have the opportunity of another day. It's similar to living in gratitude. You can't possibly live in the moment and not be grateful for it. Both go hand in hand. When you're watching a movie, don't read your meals or get engrossed in texting. If the movie is boring, watch something else that interests you. Your attention is best focused on the one thing that you're doing in the moment. Often, that's how great ideas are born. Your undivided attention is on those potatoes and tomatoes you're slicing. When all of a sudden, the solution to a long-standing problem sprouts in your mind, you could be doing just about anything consciously and mindfully when you experience such aha moments. Please don't practice being present expecting solutions to problems. Let it happen spontaneously. Let the universe surprise you. Secondly, spend time with the experts. If you have pets, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The simplest way to be around these experts 
is to find a spot, preferably in nature, where you can sit undisturbed for at least 30 minutes. You're bound to come across sparrows, pigeons, or some other birds. You could even make it a point to visit the zoo or animal shelter every other week or month, whatever fits your lifestyle. When you're around animals, observe them, watch their behavior. You'll be so intrigued just watching them live in the moment. They're totally aware of their environment. They're acutely aware of possible danger. They're completely in tune with their instincts and everything that happens in their immediate surrounding. They are experts in seizing every moment and living life to the fullest. They know that the next moment is not guaranteed. They don't procrastinate because they're busy doing their best to get through that moment, to get through that day. Are you doing that? Or are you overwhelmed and discouraged thinking about all that you have to do in the future? When you observe animals, they know they are being watched, yet they are fully focused on doing what's best for them in that moment. Can you do that? They have passion for life. They live without expectations of themselves and those around them. If a kind soul feeds them, they seize the opportunity. If not, they look for food elsewhere. They don't judge themselves. They know that they're enough just being in their element. Spend as much time as you can with the experts. Learn from them. You will then discover how magical and miraculous life is. This is best experienced and felt. No amount of description does justice. Remember to make this a regular practice. As much as your body needs to be fed, your soul craves nourishment. Thirdly, spend time in silence. Whether you're an introvert, extrovert or somewhere in between. You need to ground your thoughts and feelings on a daily basis. This will ensure that you make the best of every moment, every breath you take. Otherwise, you risk being whisked away into the black hole of triggered negative thoughts and emotional imbalances. You need to balance your mind, body and soul every day. Once in the morning when you wake up, once in the middle of the day, and once before you go to bed. It would be ideal if you could do some sort of meditation that you are comfortable with. If that's not your cup of tea, there's something simpler. Spend 10 minutes in silence without responding to all your electronic devices. Close your eyes and sit in a comfortable position. Don't think about anything. Let your mind be blank and take deep breaths. Do this three times a day. This is precious me time. 
You'll feel so much better and do so much better throughout your day. You'll become more conscious of your existence. Your inner being will be taken care of. You will feel balanced and peaceful. You will be able to pay attention to every moment. When you understand the value of life, you'll understand how fortunate you are. You'll want to make the most of the time you have in this planet. You will no longer put up with society's fluff and facade. You'll know that time is running out. You'll realize that there are so many more things you want to do. Goals that you want to achieve. Places that you want to visit. You'll be motivated to take inspired action. If you are depressed, you are living in the past. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present.